So after being left with only four minutes, I freaked, or four hours, I mean, I freaked the fuck out. I didn't know that Memento Mori actually went off of just regular, like, actual time. Like, I didn't know that it would still run as the game was shut off. I thought you would only have that certain amount of time as you played the game rather than, like, like beforehand you know like I don't I didn't get that I didn't know that was a thing so I started you know gathering some resources I had to start building a shrine for daddy dandelion so I grabbed as many dandelions as I could you know saw some llamas grabbed as much spruce as I could I didn't really have spruce um, my inventory was full as fuck so I had to figure out many times like what to grab and what to not grab um, so I also decided to get some wool, decided to kill some sheep and shit, make some, make a bed. Um, I wanted to make a red bed because I wanted it to be classic, but then I also had the idea after I made the bed, I should probably make it in the colors of Daddy Dandelion and I should get a mod where I can put, um, banner patterns on beds and stuff because I want to make a banner pattern where daddy dandelion is in the middle and you have like god rays around it and everything I want to put those ba banners everywhere but I don't know if I'm gonna have really much time for that hopefully I can at least just build the village I don't really give a shit about killing ender dragon right now I might still do that and maybe as like the end of the series starts coming up or I'll figure out if I can extend my time back to like 12 days like we'll see what happens but um yeah i started grabbing more dandelions more spruce and everything um uh, you know rambling as i usually do um doesn't look like much is going on right now i should probably cut out a lot of this you know you know what no we'll leave it we'll leave it um yeah so i grabbed more dandelions more saplings because oh that that was it so my inventory i ran out of room i thought i grabbed spruce saplings and i didn't i guess and they all despawned by the time that i came back um so i was a little i was a little pissed at that so i decided to grab a dog because i had the bones for it i found a swamp and i looked at the coordinates for it and i saved them because in a swamp you can like find like these like little clay kind of areas and if you go like a certain direction and a certain amount of blocks and you dig straight down you'll have guaranteed diamonds i'll have to look up what it is but i'll figure it out and i should be able to get tons of diamonds um and everything um grab more dandelions headed back home try to show my dog where the village was i don't have a name for the dog by the way i was thinking something along the lines of daddy dandelions dog of doom um i'm not really sure yet but uh i try to figure out if i could find an age for daddy dandelion in like the little like hud thingy or whatever that is um i couldn't which kind of sucks but yeah it's whatever so i started making more chests i decided to make the village my permanent home instead of that little cave that i was in i had to take apart um that house so i decided i might as well make some stone bricks and everything just to uh start making the construction of daddy dandelion shrine uh so i started placing some spruce saplings all around you know running around trying to get some oak um and everything so i decided i grabbed some oak so i'm gonna need tons of oak for like little structural supports around the maybe like mini little castle that i decide to make for daddy dandelion maybe we'll see then i figured out that i had the ore excavation thing which actually works for all blocks because i do have another mod pack that i've been using i can't really record it it doesn't it's not it doesn't stay stable it might now because i upgraded my computer a little bit but we'll see um, so yeah, I grabbed all the beds that were inside that were Daddy Dandelion's color. And just so then the villagers could keep their jobs, because I can't just have villagers doing nothing. Eventually I'm going to have to mitigate uh, 
the villagers' homes just to make sure, like, um, that they won't die to zombies and everything. So I'll have to do that eventually. I'll also have to make, um, maybe a trading hall. Maybe that I can, then I can get some better diamond armor. Maybe I, then I can go get, um, or I can go after the ender dragon and kill him. Uh, maybe that'll be something that I can do later on. Hopefully that will help. So now I'm starting to build the shrine where I started putting a polished andesite circle around it. So I thought of having a circle in the middle and then having like a big old dome around it and eventually getting some terracotta, coloring it green, some yellow, making a giant version of the dandelion and housing Daddy Dandelion himself inside. And I also thought of the new character Mommy Poppy, which I might have also next to him in an even bigger fucking circle and all this terraform stuff. I have very crazy plans that I want to get to but I might not be able to because I might just forget about the series altogether who knows um, so I started building the shrine I wanted to make a dome around after putting in all those wooden supports and I couldn't find a um, what's it called like a sawmill thingy the little saw block thing and I forgot where my previous base was so I eventually found it and I grabbed this little sawmill thingy and I grabbed some granite and some other resources granite because I wanted to make a little path uh, or a bunch of paths made of brick which is a very expensive fucking block and I didn't get to finish that path but I finished at least half of it to where it looks okay and it looks pretty good um, I also started just making the little bit of shape and the making it a little bit smoother on the arch um, around the pillars so then I could eventually start building the insides or how would I word? yeah the insides are like the actual roofing um, above daddy dandelion himself um, so yeah I started building all these arches making them nice and smooth fucked up a bunch uh, as you can see there I put two stairs instead of slabs on the very top so I had to keep going up finally ate to recover some health instead of dying while making the um, the shrine itself um, and then I decided I might as well put some wood accents up into the arching roof I figured that it would be a nice little um, addition to it so I only just put two I stripped them because it looks a lot better stripped the, the like spruce bark it looks okay but not usually for what I actually like to do with it so now I'm about to finish off the wood so finish that all off and then I started figuring out the initial shape of the dome without doing the insides or the outsides and smoothing it and then now I started smoothing it by putting these stairs around which you can kind of barely see it's a little quick um, and I had to add more stairs, I kind of fucked up a bunch with the stairs. I don't know what's my problem with stairs and everything, but I seem to have a problem with it. Um, I started adding in all the different slabs and everything, just smoothing out the initial dome shape. I wanted to make it look more like a broader kind of dome, rather than like a really skinny dome or something like on top. Um, and then I started putting in the last final smoothing and went to bed got back up made myself or smelted myself up some iron to make some chains and some lanterns just for in the middle might as well light up the little area that i have just it'll make it look a little bit nicer and then i can finish off the daddy dandelion shrine in peace by adding some signs on top I wanted to make it the big daddy dandelion shrine of God and hope or something like that, but I couldn't fit big daddy dandelion all in one line. So I decided to grab more dandelions and rage and grab some clay for the bricks that I was telling you about afterwards. Um, this clay, I thought I had a lot of it because I had like a stack in like 40 extra. I thought that was going to at least do a good bit like maybe close to half of it um just in bricks alone rather than me having to put granite in for texture that's not how that worked it maybe filled up about a third maybe even less than a third of it which kind of sucks but you know it's all right 
I made myself some armor because of how much iron that I had, which I didn't smelt up before. Uh, I decided to look at the iron golem because he had dandelions all over him rather than roses, which is what they used to have like a long time ago. So I kind of praised them. I thought it was really cool. Then I decided I might as well just try and add some kind of resource packs um, that made it look better. And they didn't work because they're for older versions, like literally for 1.17, which came out only a couple days ago. It's pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to update the Memento Mori mod into that and maybe add some of those blocks, but yeah, it's fine. So, I finished up the 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 the, the, the shrine, the da big daddy dandelion shrine of hope, which I wanted to add, but I didn't get to. So I started adding all these bricks and I decided I might as well extect, extend my brick usage by putting in some granite and lots of it so then I can maybe put in some more bricks all around it. Um, fucking Matilda, that bitch, kept on s sleeping in my bed. I thought the, they were going to mate and make a baby and everything, but they didn't. And now the sh big daddy dandelion shrine is done. And I have to say thank you and goodbye. You know, it's been, it's been crazy with this mod. I didn't think that this mod was going to be as cool as it is and that it was going to run off of real time. I might have to configure it to where it's, I have a good bit more time, at least maybe, uh, I don't know, six or seven days rather than four. Um, I'll see what I can do about that because I didn't know that it was going to do that. I used to have 12 days. Now I only have four and it's kind of crazy. Um... Anyway, like the video if you liked it, and go ahead and subscribe, but thank you for watching, and have a good day.